there's no difference. They look exactly the same. Hello, welcome back to my channel. But if you're new, welcome. Please subscribe. Click on the notification bell so you know every time I put out a video. I thought I'd sit down and share with you some Valentine's Day appropriate scents. Um, I'll give you some scenarios or outfits that you could be wearing when you choose these particular scents. But, food for thought. Have you wondered where Valentine's Day came from? It was actually a Roman's holiday, a Roman's holiday. And it was gruesome. It wasn't all lovey-dovey as we might be celebrating it as today. But don't just take my word for it. Go ahead and do your own little research. Um, of course, the holiday became sweeter later on. You know, different events happened during those um days or time of the month and you know shakespeare came into play and the whole love thing happened but originally the valentine's day was very gruesome so that's what i try to do during different holidays i try to research about the holidays what they represent what they mean so that i'm not just out there celebrating something that i shouldn't be I know, I know that everybody loves Halloween, but you really should do some research on the holidays you're celebrating because it means that you're taking part in it and you should be careful. But anyway, Valentine's Day, what does it mean to me? To me, every day is Valentine's Day. I do what I want, I buy what I want, I look after myself every day. So. I don't need one particular day to represent that, you know what I mean? And when I'm in a relationship, every day should be a um, Valentine's Day. We should be lovey-dovey, giving each other gifts at random times during the year. But, you know, I just thought it would make a good video. Without further ado, let me share with you some fragrances that you could wear on your Valentine's Day, however you celebrate it, okay? First off, this is a girl, a lady, who is fun and flirty okay so your valentine's day you'll be dressed in you know a floral light colored dress very flirty very fun whether you be outdoors or indoors um yes and you've got waves in your hair of some sort even straight is fine but let's just go with waves okay um these are the two scents that i would be mixing for valentine's day i just the lid fell over there and I'm not about to pick it up. But this is Midnight Rose Trezor from Lancome. And this is Narciso Rodriguez um, Poudre. Of course you can wear these individually, but mixed together, they would smell so good. Um, with the Poudre from Narciso, um, some people don't like the baby scent baby powder kind of scent that's what they call it but i do obviously that's why i own it but if you don't want to just smell you know musky powdery um then go ahead and mix it with midnight rose which is like a citrusy rose um so yes together they smell so so good clean um sweet powdery fresh roses just try the combination it works well for valentine's because it is very romantic you got the rose and you got the powdery scent so for the next scents that i'm suggesting um these two these are perfect if you are wearing some dark colors or velvet material if you're a bikey's girlfriend or <laughs> you know you're just edgy let's just say you're edgy and you're gonna have an edgy day you're wearing an edgy outfit this will be great not to say you have to be gothic to wear this but i'm just giving an example of the type of ladies that will be wearing this if you're into dark colors um be gothic or reds you like reds these would go if you're wearing some manola blanix okay some pumps this would be great some balenciaga too you know edgy edgy classy i'm actually looking at 
my leather top so if I decided to wear something like this with like black leather tights which I do have matching ones and some heels you know just edgy classy like that I would pick these perfumes so yes we have options so the reason that I say these would be good for an edgy dark you know all those descriptions I just gave you is because um this one smells like a dark rose if you could visualize a dark rose like a, a a burgundy or almost like a black rose this is what it would smell like and this smells like licorice like black licorice it's still a form of sweetness or candy or feminine vibe but it's still black licorice you know what i mean it's almost like these two are staples for any romantic situation this is dior addict and this is lenwick trezor by lancome i like this when it's slightly cool outside because it can get really sickening for me because the vanilla is quite heavy and um good quality and we have La Nuit Trezor. Oh. It's so addictive. Oh, it's nice. I don't know what you're doing with yourself if you haven't gone to smell these before. So go do that. Um, I know there's many flankers in this collection. But if you were to start somewhere as an all-rounder, this is a perfect, perfect romantic um, or La Nuit Trezor, you know, like Trezor line. This is the perfect one to start with because there's so many flankers, it gets confusing. You don't know which one to buy because they're all nice. But if you wanted an all-rounder, this is a good way to go last but definitely not least we have the baccarat rouge 540 extract and oud satin mood um these are romantic this is not like playground sexy this is like you know we're trying to really get into it with these scents so if your valentine's day looks that way then go ahead and whip these out if not um just slightly spray these layer them with other scents that um will be more appropriate for whatever scenario you are dealing with okay because on their own they're amazing i think rihanna uses this one as her signature scent her everyday scent kind of thing i don't know if that's current or before i don't know what she uses in her life but um this is one of her favorite scents so if that inspires you then go ahead and try it um this one is just a common popular loved fragrance but you know not everybody can afford it it is very expensive but if you save your coin you'll be able to get it in the fragrance world though it's you know a good price for what you're getting but for ordinary people who are not fragrance obsessed this is too much this is too much okay oh, there's an oud animalic kind of smell in here but on the skin with your body heat it just it's sexy okay it's not girly it's not sweet it's not flirty it's not like that it's not whimsical This one is slightly sweeter and much more friendlier than this one. This one's more likable than this. If you just want to add a twist to them, go ahead and add um, Midnight Rose spray over the top of whichever scent you have selected for the day. And it'll just take it up a notch. It will just smell different and you will stand out okay so i am so curious tell me what you're doing this valentine's day 
please tell me what you will be up to or how you normally celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, I'm so excited to hear from you in the comment section and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what scents you'll be wearing as well because uh, curiosity, curiosity. I'm nosy, I'm nosy. Um, so yeah. Go ahead and pamper yourself, whatever pampering yourself is, you know, um, bath salts and candles and, you know, a glass of wine, non-alcoholic wine. And um, that's, that's my idea of pampering myself. Watching my favorite show, reading a book, you know, scent everywhere. It's gonna be so good. Please let me know what you find on the history of Valentine's Day. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comments section. And let me know what you thought of the fragrances that I'm gonna be wearing or choosing from on Valentine's Day. So yes, I'm so curious to hear what you'll be doing as well. I mean, that's so many questions, but just choose what you wanna talk about and I'll talk to you in the comment section. Look how you look cute. Stop it, stop, stop.